So today we are reading from Shishi Radharasa Sudanidi by Srila Prabodananda Saraswati, verse 64. Glory to the incomparable dexterity of Radha's dancing eyebrows. The dexterity of the corners of her beautiful, playful eyes. The verbal dexterity of this beautifully formed girl. Her dexterity in coming to the trysting place. Her dexterity in ever fresh artful pastimes. And her dexterity in having a festival of laughter and choking with her girlfriends. Glory to the incomparable dexterity of Radha's dancing eyebrows. The dexterity of the corners of her beautiful, playful eyes. The verbal dexterity of this beautifully formed girl. Her dexterity in coming to the thrusting place. Her dexterity in ever fresh, artful pastimes. And her dexterity in having a festival of laughter and choking with her girlfriends. She Radha's Six Dade. kinds of dexterity. Dade. Just shortly we can say that so many times, six times, is repeating the same word, dexterity, skillfulness, artfulness, expertise. So Shripad here is mentioning just six Radhika's skillfulness, expertise, although there is actually unlimited skillfulness of Shimate Radhika. So we can ask where from where all these dexterities are coming, this expertise. They are coming from love. The more person has a love, he is more skillful, able, expert in his seva. The more he has attachment, he is more expert in expression of his love through his active mood, service. So we can see here the Shripad is glorifying the dexterity of Radharani and at the same time he is glorifying Radhika. Because he is so deeply attached with Radhika. And he always relishing her Nama, Rupa, Guna and Lila. So someone who is relishing so deeply the sweetness and beauty and all these qualities of Srimati Radharani is a proper person for glorifying Srimati Radhika. Only someone who is on that level can properly glorify Shri Radhika. 
Orhiz Ishtadi. Premika Bhakti is so valuable jewel because through his words we can listen, we can meditate on his words and we can learn and hear how he is glorifying his Ishtadev. But he is not only glorifying Ishtadev. He is glorifying all other devotees. So by his words, he is worshipping devotees, Vaishnavas, and ultimately he is worshipping his beloved Shrimati Radhika, in this case of Sripat. And now the question is arising, how we can properly Glorify Shimate Radharani. I don't have any whiff of prema. I don't have any attachment. I am pretty engrossed in my condition, nature. How? How I can glorify? Because this is the process. By listening. By the listening, the pure words of pure love, which are glorifying Shimata Radharani. And this is my puja. Through my ears, my ears are paraphernalia, but they should be filled up with words of Rasik devotees then they are proper paraphernalia. Same thing is with the words. How can I, how we can glorify Radhika? But if we are repeating the words of Acharyas, pure loving words of our Acharyas, then my tongue is becoming paraphernalia for worshipping. Not because this is my words. No, it's their words. And by repeating their words and relishing their words, we are glorifying them. This Rasik devotees. And by, by glorifying our Gurudev, our Guru Manjari, or Upanuga devotees, we are offering our puja, our worshipping to Srimati Radhika. And in that way, slowly but surely, and little by little, our glorification of Srimati Radharani is becoming proper. It's mentioned in, in the Shastras, in the Vedas, I don't know where Gurudev knows that, that only jewel can recognize the jewel. And only jeweler can properly speak about specific jewel. But by following the footsteps of this jewel-like Acharyas, we can slowly practice our spiritual life and ultimately by their mercy attain our, our perfection. So Sripad is speaking first word, he's saying glory, jai, jayate, incomparable dexterity. Who knows? Incomparable dexterity of Shimata Radharani. Who can know that? Only intimate maidservant of Shimata Radhika. Only Kinkari, Manjari, can know all dexterities or the, all this expertise, artfulness 
of Shimata Radhika. Because she is witnessing it, she is direct behind her like a shadow, like Guru Dev is saying, and following Radhika like a shadow, and also he, such kind of devotee is following, he is the shadow of the shadow of Shimati Radharani's eternal maidservants. These personalities know just exactly all the skillfulness, dexterities, it's a little bit complicated word on English, of Shimati Radharani. So we should learn how to glorify Radhika. It's not just to use any words which we want under the gunas of material nature. But to learn, it means to feel and to be connected with the heart. So, Shripa, this Pardon, is... But, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm requesting to translate to Spanish, please. I think you have translation on Spanish. Yes, Bhagavad Amrita, it's already did it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. No problem. So, this is the point of these words, as I see. Sorry. Others can give some other angle. But for me, this glory of incomparable dexterities, unlimited dexterities, is a beautiful, sweet glorification of Shimata Radhara. You want to say something, Guru Dev? No? Okay, we can continue. Sri Radha's six kinds of dexterity skillfulness commentary Shripad has a clear experience of his service in his kinkari form he brought Shama out of Chandra's kunja into the bower of Sri Radha, who waited for him, suffering greatly out of separation from him. Rasi Kendra Mauli, Krishna, behaves in a deceitful way only to create waves in the ocean of Sri Radha's sweet love for him and to show the whole world the greatness of her love for him. So he is creating the reasons the cause of separation and in that way he wants to glorify Radharani's love because in her separation mood so many qualities dexterities are gushing out from her body He is provoking her. Sometimes she is provoking him. But in this case, he is provoking her. Because he wants to relish the movements of eyes, movements of eyebrows, 
and so on. And she is doing it in so expert way that he is becoming mad. Completely mad. This is the <laughs> result of expertise in Seva. To make a Sevia, object of Seva, completely intoxicated. And how it could be done? Only through love. So we can see here how meditation on radicals, movements of the eyes, movements of the eyebrows, is a proper sadhana for sadaka. This kind of meditation. Because in that way, sadaka is coming close to radicals gunas, to different qualities. We should meditate, when we love someone, we meditate on his name, on her name. Then we meditate on the form, how this person is looking. Then we meditate on qualities, emotional qualities, mental qualities, but also the qualities of the body. And then we meditate on some pastimes, which we exchange together. So this is so natural. In the same way, this is also natural in relationship with Pindrada and Mohan. But the only difference is that this is pure love, transcendental, divine love. And on another side, we have our condition life. So automatically, it means that all qualities from Srimati Radharani, Krishna, and devotees of them are all transcendental, filled with pure love, and they are not result of the karma. Conditioned souls can also have some qualities to some certain percentage, degree. But this is the result of karma. And the more person has some sattva, gun in him, he is more nice, more culture, more, more polite, more compassion, and so on. But suddenly when guna, lower guna appears in his heart, all these qualities disappear and ruin his life and the life of others. Because this is materialistic qualities. But radical qualities are eternal, infused in her. She doesn't have to practice to attain these qualities. She is embodiment of all transcendental good qualities. She doesn't have to practice it. Also, her eternal devotees doesn't have to practice it. Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari doesn't have to practice to be on a such a level to have all these qualities because she is eternal associate of Radhika with eternal qualities and also deeply connected with love with Radharani. And all Radhika's qualities are just spontaneously not only reflect on his heart, but completely infuse all his existence or her existence. So what should we, sadhakas, learn from that? That by meditation, absorption in the qualities of pure devotees and on the qualities of Shimati Radhika, some reflection from their heart 
will enlighten our heart. And some small rays of the qualities will start to appear. And this is our sadhana. To be more absorbed, or we can say attached, through our bhajan, through our all existence, all activities, with emotions, with activities, with mentality of pure devotees. Then mystic things are happening. Their qualities, their love, their compassion, their expertise is becoming more and more reflected in our hearts. And we can see here, Radhika is full of dexterities, but her manjaris are also full of th those dexterities. And because they are full of the same <laughs> dexterities, they can properly glorify the source of all artfulness and skillfulness. Shimati Radhika. So this is, as I understand, this is the trick. How to connect with love and attachment with those who already have this dexterity and ultimately to attain ultimate goal, Shimati Radhika. I remember in Chaitanya Charitamrita, he said somewhere that all qualities of Krishna are manifest in his devotees. All qualities of Krishna are manifesting in his devotees. So the same thing we can apply, that all qualities of Srimati Radharani manifests on her manjaris, or her devotees also, sadakas. So meditation of, on someone's skillfulness is not just cheap thing. The result is great richness. Same thing is going on in material world. If you want to learn something from someone, you have to accept him. If you don't accept him, how you will learn from him. So the hearts of pure devotees are always absorbed in their beloved Ishtadet. And in that way, they became like he or she. There's someone who wants to share something to add, to make a little bit. More understandable, more relishable. When the Kinkari comes to Radhika's power with Shama, she decides not to tell Swamini anything so that she will not become angry and remain submissive to him. They became very happy when they saw each other 
and they eagerly immersed in an ocean of nectar. When Krishna arrives, Srimati pierces him with Cupid's sharp flower arrows by making her incomparable eyebrows dance. The youthful Cupid of Vrindavan is completely enchanted by it. What a wonderful service Srimati is doing with her beautiful eyebrows. The Kinkari sees these are not eyebrows. These are black snakes that bite Krishna's heart and make it burn with desire. So we can see here who made Radhika, who put Radhika in this mood. Additionally, she is already in this mood, but Kinkari is putting her additionally in this mood to intensify her feelings. And it's written here, Kishoriji just said, she decided, Kinkari decided not to tell Swamini anything. So it, this is dexterity of Kinkari. Just in a proper time, how to react, how to serve. By not telling Radhika that Shyam appears and from where he came. That's the point. From where he came, it will be secret. So Krishna is very thankful for that to Kinkaris. <laughs> we can conclude. He is very thankful to Kinkaris. And they approve him. You need us, my dear, also. Because I will keep a secret what you have done. But this keeping the secret is to intensify love between divine couple. This lie or this keeping the secret is bringing so skillfully Radhika to specific emotion where she starts to manifest on her face different signs and each of these signs is like a jewel like an ornament so this is shringar also not only to put the clothes or the ornaments but to provoke emotions in the heart of radhika that she manifests on her face different ornaments of her emotions. This is also Shringar, which puts Mohan in Shringar Ras. So, from where and from whom we can learn this kind of dexterities? Only from someone who is expert in love, deeply connected with the source of love and then skillfulness is going automatically. Tinkaris didn't learn that. Radhika infused them. The same thing with our relationship with each, with each other or with Gurudev. So why we need association, loving association with those who are more advanced than we. 
because we want that their skillfulness, skillful thoughts, skillful feelings, skillful activities, service, become infused in us. And this is the only way how conditioned soul can be transformed and changed. So Kinkari is lying secretly, is not speaking to Radhika. But which kind of ocean of emotions she is making? Were there, you want to say something? You're talking? You have to read his lips to know what he's saying. He's very good. <laughs> you are making us also. We have to be more connected with you. Dexterity. Understand? Dexterity. What is in your heart? Daddy. Please, please, Mike, Mike. I don't hear you. Who is there? Can you help? Yes. No. Now we hear you. But, but you are telling is my heart feeling. <laughs> so nice. I'm far away from that. On this. You are You don't leave any chance to say to me. Everything for my heart. Gurudev, sorry for this apparat. I'm so puffed up. This is the one our our bhajan that everything same feeling you are opening. What I feel you share that is a very special connection between me and you. So I like to listen to you. But devotees need you, Gurudev. They have to make dexterity in their life by listening to you. We are Rupanuga. Yes. But we would like to listen Rati Manjari more. So Rupa Goswami is not telling, but Rati Manjari is telling everything. What is this meaning? Is it oneness of Rupa Goswami and Rati Manjari? Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari. If you see the teaching of Rupa Goswami, he is telling in all rasas, but Rati Manjari select only one rasa, Radha Dasyam rasa, and that is Pariyogan. So you are doing the same. More deep thing you are explaining. What is the real speciality and special quality of your bhajan? I'm very proud of this. Never deviation from the goal. Totally a strive of. Thank you, my dear. Now, Sukriti Lavalesh. Is 
shortage. The aspirants should think. Let me meditate on how you overwhelm your lover with the dancing of your eyebrows. The kinkery glorifies the expert dancing of these eyebrows. You see, kinkery can go. She understands what is the reason of dancing of the eyes. Oneness. The playful glances Swamini expertly casts at Shama from the corner of her eyes are even more amazing. Shama is enchanted and stares at her without blinking, thinking, Aha, how beautiful are your eyes. He cannot find any comparison, although he searches for it. This is Seva for Krishna also. Manjaris, Kinkari, <coughs> is making situation in such a way that Radhika's eyebrows are dancing. But is, what is more attractive behind, after this, her glances are like uh, arrows, which is shooting Krishna's heart. So this is Manjari's Seva through Radharani to Krishna. They make him happy by putting Radhika in his special mood and provoking her to manifest these beautiful signs on her face through eyebrows and eyes. And we can expand it more, more, and more about this. But Baba is saying here in the beginning of the, this paragraph, aspirants should think and meditate how Radhika overwhelmed her lover with the dancing of her eyebrows or eyes, we can say. This is Manjari Bhav Sadhana. To meditate and to open our heart that we receive something from this deep meditation. So we can see here dexterity. How is going on to Sadaka? by proper instructions, guidance, and acceptance from Sadaka's side. Yes, I will do this bhajan. I don't have any other projects. I have to maintain myself. This is my seva. But this is my main seva, to meditate and open my heart on this, in this instruction. All if we are doing so many things from external point of view, from the bodily point of view, it will not bring us ultimately 
to this stage which Baba and our Gurudev is trying to guide us. We will always be in the room full of toys. <laughs> we were reading yesterday in Japanese. Toys will never end. New and new and new and new. Projects, ideas, plans. But this is just simple instruction. Meditate on how Radhika overwhelm Mohan with the dancing of her eyebrows. That's it. Simple for simple. Complicated for complicated. Prabhupada's words. Lila Krishna Das Kaviraj has written in Govinda Lilamrita to make Radhika's eyes the creator collected the most beautiful and qualified things in the world and the non-essential things that were left over fell down on earth to become the black bees, the deer, the chagora birds, the fishes, and the blue lotus flowers. Nagara. Huh? Can you explain us? It's very difficult to me to understand and to enter in this. Would you be so kind, Kishoreji, to repeat? Mm -hmm. To make Radhika's eyes, the Creator collected the most beautiful and qualified things in the world. And the non-essential things that were left over fell down on earth to become the black bees, the deer, the chakora birds, the fishes, and the blue lotus flowers. To make Radhika's eyes the Creator collected the most beautiful and qualified things in the world. And the non-essential things that were left over fell down on earth to become the black bees, the deer, the chakora birds, the fishes, and the blue lotus flowers. We don't hear you, Guru Dev. Yes. Chakura birds, black feet, fish, all these are the quality of Radhika. You can bring out from the water to the fish, he will die. If you take out far from Krishna, Radhika cannot survive. What is fell down from the eyes, this is also nature to understand of our eyes. Eyes is chakura, but how do you, I think, do 
Are we jumping her? Right. Uh -huh. Tell words or words. Tell words. Where tell words? Kakura. Waiting to see. Watching for the water of rainbow. All this. Me. In the case, very deep meaning. Read again this line. To make Radhika's eyes, the Creator collected the most beautiful and qualified things in the world. And the non-essential things that were left over fell down on earth to become the black bees, the deer, the chakura birds, the fishes and the blue lotus flowers. Goranga will say next time. Go on. Nagara is enchanted by these playful glances and he becomes stunned of ecstasy. Although he is transcendental ecstasy personified. Her squinted eyes and her slight smile agitate me. The maidservant glorifies the dexterity of Srimati's hundreds of sweet, playful glances. Hundreds, unlimited ways how Radhika is glancing on Krishna. Unlimited, squinted, half closed eyes. Sometimes she is looking at him with open eyes, waiting for him. Sometimes she has half closed eyes. Sometimes and sometimes and sometimes and so on and so on. Different kinds of glances Radhika is shooting according to the circumstances, according to the lila, according to the need of Krishna's heart. Because she is Rad, expert in worshipping him. Unlimited ways of glances our expert Radhika has and manifests. This is her dexterity. It's not comp incomparable. It's not describable. But maybe with just little bhajan, something will open in Sadaka's heart. I have one question, maybe Gurudev can explain. Um, when Shama is enchanted and is staring at Radhika and her beautiful glances and eyebrows and he cannot even blink his eyes, he's totally fixed. And then it is written that 
he cannot find any comparison, although he searches for it. He searches on. He searches in many gopi, many such is, but he no find like us because she has some special qualities. Selfless. She, she wants Radhika say, you are mine. And they are all my expansion. And I beg for them for your pleasure, for your happiness. You you in, you can feel it to me everywhere, and Krishna want to search every place, Radhika, but he's not that, but he's with Radhika. Radhika has some speciality, Madhunakya Mahapa, that is no no one has that. Mahabharata is there, but not Madhanakya Mahabharata. He's only, only, only one point is for Mr. Mohan, who, who attracts him. Nothing other desires he has. A speciality of that. <laughs> And when he will say why sometimes she become angry when Krishna comes from Chandravari. Because Chandravari say, I am yours. And she gives because in the rare chances that Krishna goes to Chandravari and he, they catch him Krishna today. So she wants to give so much love that he wants to come again. But Radhika knows this, no? Because she Chandravali is also Radhika's expansion. She knows what is happening. Then she wants to give different flavor, no? Too much love, then little Angerness and to to avoid him, that will make happy to increase his love. So she get it mad. She never do angerness, but when she do angerness, when Larita say you have to anger to me, so she become angry. Manjaris are worried to make cool down to her, but she cannot do because she promised to Larita she will be angry and not easily cool down. When Larita will again say to her to come forget this, that she cool down. Then Manjari knows this and she, she ran to Larita and said, Why you make my son Radhika angry? So said, to cool down to her. Laita came and said, please, now it's too much, cool down. Then to cool. She never angry, or she can angry. So only to give the different test of love, she do that. Because they are all create expansion, all expansion in the form of Chandravali and all gopis and all sakshi, they are all his actions. Only somebody give more over than that, Radhika wanted. He knows what other place to stand to see. So he wants to make all this higher and higher and higher test. So and now... Sometimes <laughs> angerness is also higher test. When the lover 
to start pleasing and try to make happy, and that taste is also very high. Sorry, I will not repeat this. Sorry, this, that. No, no, nothing. I will talk with you. No, sorry. Now I will never repeat it. But by chance, mistake happened. Maybe knowingly, but by chance. And then slowly, 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 cooling down and make happy. This also is very relevant. Man is also one of the quality of Sneha and Prima. Man. If the man is not there, Anurag, Rag, Anurag, Sne, then man. This, this coming in the process. So now when Krishna is coming from Chandra's Kunja and the Kinkari will not say anything to Radhika, then her playing with the eyes actually also is showing that she knows where he's coming from, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not to disturb him. She don't want to say from where coming. Maybe Radhika will disturb with that. It's yeah, don't want to say something, but it's not leading to that. But Kinkiri's desire only for the meeting, not to create the fight. Material people, when they meet, they create the fighting in between. But the Mandir is on their one, how to avoid the fighting and they become more loving and, and exchange their feelings. They are jealous. In material world, why not they fight? <laughs> <laughs> some some story that husband and wife and some close person they will start fighting. It's boring without the drama, good. Yeah. And here, Mandir is not want to create the fighting. They want to create more, increase more love in you. How to escape from fighting. And when they feel necessary, also they do that. As for the Desire of and circumstances of my family, I do have not Krishna. In the eyes of Manjari, one pointedness is there, only Radhika. And eyes of Radhika. One pointedness for Krishna, but at the same time, she is very caring for Mandir. What happened? Okay. 
Vara Tanu fair formed Radha's verbal dexterity is also amazing when she speaks. Shimad Rupa Goswami writes in Ujvala Nilamani, she speaks unclear words that are inscrut that are as inscrutable as the perfect mantras from the Kama Shastras. Sri Vishwanath Chakravarti Pada writes in his Ananda Chandrika commentary on this verse. The grave words Radhika speaks to Krishna are coming forth from the Vedic mantras from the Kama Shastra, such as Vashi Karana, bringing under control, Uchatana, agitating, Unmadana, maddening, and Mohana, enchanting. Varatanu Radha's words are all sprinkled by the rasa of Mahabhav. And that is why they have so much influence on Ananda Ghana Vigraha, Krishna, the very form of intense condensed transcendental bliss. How cleverly she quarrels with him over the tax on clarified butter, the Dana Leela, or about the ownership of Rindavan's flowers, the Pushpa Chayana Leela. Srila Rupa Goswami says in Ujvala Nilamani, with her verbal quarrels, she enchants even Sri Krishna, the teacher of the goddess of speech. Goddess of speech. Every word which Radhika is talking is coming from Kama Shastras. Every word has a quote, every sentence, expression through the words has some special quotes, hidden words. And this is her dexterity. And only someone who is in love with Srimati Radharani can understand the hints of these words, hidden words. So this is her dexterity. How to say, but not to say openly. How to react, but meaning is opposite. And this is the playfulness between lovers. This is art of two lovers. But if we have our own desires to be lovers and be loved, then we cannot understand these codes. These codes are only for pure hearts. Because this is Faraki above. Sorry. Nothing has to be visible, black and white. Nothing has to be audible, black and white. Everything is hidden. Saying something like Guru Dev is saying something meaning another thing. Even when the quarrel is, this is art of quarrel. It's not quarrel under the gunas. It's a loving 
quarrel which brings pure emotions even more intensive, intense. This is art of quarrel. When we are quarreling under the gunas, then this is disaster, which ruined all emotions. If we are constantly quarrel with others or inside of us, Bhav will never raise up. But the art of quarrel is something else. This is art of pure love, which the quarreling is just a spice to increase the love more. So this is the beauty of transcendental relationships. And this brings rasa. Material quarreling is not bringing rasa. But the pure love brings pure quarrel, which increase the rasa between lovers more and more. I remember Radhika sometimes when she's in Unmada, she's talking nonsense. She's talking with cows, with deers, with other moving, unmoving entities. And our Acharyas are explaining this is nonsense. But in these words are hidden so much love, which only those who are in Madhurya Ras can understand that because of intensity of her love, she became intoxicated and unconscious. But this state of Radharani's feelings or madness or unmada brings so much happiness and pleasure to Krishna, but also to Sakis and Manjaris. Only to those who are in Paraki above. So this is dexterity of our beloved Radhika. Goddess of speech. Sri Radha's dexterity in going to meet Mohan in the thrusting power is also very special. Today, she has given Sham Sundar a hint to come and meet her while pretending to reject his advances. She casts her arrow-like glances at him and tells him with a slight smile, Oh, hey, until now, I knew I knew you as the king of Rasikas, but now I understand that you are completely Arasik. Couldn't you understand the hints I made with my eyes? How many obstacles are there for a housewife to meet her paramour? Obstacles at home, obstacles caused by others, obstacles in the mind, and obstacles in the forest. But Anurag, continuous passion, is so powerful that it tramples all obstacles underfoot 
and helps Srimati to meet her Prana Vallava in an expert way. The maidservant glorifies Srimati's dexterity in coming to the trysting place. Sham Sundar is enchanted when he sees the many expert ways in which Sri Radha meets him. The Rasa Ocean of the divine couple's pastime swells up and the maidservant discreetly leaves the bower. Radhe. So many times we heard obstacles in this, obstacles in the mind, obstacles in the circumstances. And there is tight connection between obstacles and love. Without obstacles, there is no relishing of Paraki above. Obstacles are very important. Spice, spices, unlimited spices in Paraki above. Without obstacles, there is no Paraki above. Everything is for granted. But obstacles makes a meeting full of risk. And this risk, should we meet or not we meet? When we meet, who will see us? Who will make obstacles to me? Is something which intensify these Parakya feelings in Radhika and Mohan also. And Majaris, they have to be very experts, very smart, very clever to deal with this obstacles, which are not easy at all to deal. They are sometimes so complicated and they require extra intelligence. From Manjaris. And we also Sadakas. Many times we are faced with many obstacles. Everyone who really wants to serve from the core of his heart, we will meet many obstacles. If that someone doesn't want to serve with full heart, for him it's easy. Easy life, easy going. Where are the results? But for someone who really wants to serve with full heart, he will face with obstacles. And these obstacles will help him in one way, will distract him. But if he is eager to continue his seva, then he can realize the mercy. How the door is open that he Although obstacles are there, he can make a seva. Because seva is his existence, not obstacles. And every one of us has this kind of experience, more or less. And the more we want to serve, Different kinds of obstacles will come. Because we should 
change our conditioned nature. They are helping us, teaching us. Sometimes in a pleasant way, sometimes not so pleasant. But the seva is seva. It's not activity. Seva, to become seva must be pure without motives. And obstacles are helping us to purify our hidden motives. Hidden from ourselves even. So this is one of the meaning of the obstacles I wanted to share on our sadaka wish. And we have to be a bold. We need the kripa. We need the spiritual strength. But obstacles, we can see Radhika is always facing the obstacles. But she's she's expert in overcoming because she is full of strong desire, anurag, to give the pleasure to her lover. Tinker is always full of anurag to go over obstacles to give the pleasure to her swam, to their swamini. Sadakas are always full of eagerness to overcome obstacles, unbearable obstacles sometimes, to give the seva without expectation of results. So, opticals in Parakya Bhava are the main, main ingredients. That's I wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. Radha and Shama now become immersed in a nectar ocean of loving pastimes. The maidservant relishes the ever fresh sweetness of these expert and artful pastimes while looking through the holes in the bower's foliage. And she glorifies that artful dexterity in love play. After the pastimes are over, the maidservants, the maidservant enters the bower knowing that her time to serve has come. The maidservant now also shows various kinds of dexterity, expertise in devotional service. The aspirant should glorify Sripad's dexterity in devotional service. This is the meaning of kata. To glorify Radha Mohan, divine couple, but also to glorify those who are expert in their service. This is sadhana. And this is the meaning of kata. This is the meaning of hearing. While we are hearing, we are also glorifying. We are drinking, and the more we are drinking, relishing, we are glorifying through our ears. And the more we are relishing by talking, glorifying Radhika and their mates and her maid servants, then we are becoming more expert in worshiping those who are already experts in this dexterity. 
So this is the sadhana. This is a sadhana with attachment, not mechanical, like machine. No. Fully with attachment. And it's very clearly written here, the path, hidden path. This is the hidden path, very narrow path for sadhakas who wants to practice Majar Bhav Sadhak. It's not project path, big, this and that. No, we need a small, narrow, because this is the sweetest. Following, <clears throat> following the footsteps in this narrow path. Because if we don't follow these footsteps in the narrow path, it's very easy to fall down. It's very narrow. <laughs> like a blade of razor, Prabhupada is saying, like a blade of knife. Razor. Narrow. Sweet, but narrow. And requires complete attachment to those who are guiding us. And this attachment can bring to attachment to beloved Radhika. Yes, Kishoreji, sorry. I just got inspired that also this requires skillfulness, dexterity. This is dexterity. How to follow is dexterity. It's not my improvisation. According to my ideas, my past memories, no. It requires surrendering. Acceptance. Gurudev is saying, what does it mean acceptance? To be ready to learn. If you're not ready to learn, then it means you are not accepting. So, and then it's very simple. Then it's very simple, and only then. Otherwise, it's very, very complicated obstacles, which is not possible to overcome. Because you can see here four dexterities before meeting in the Kunja. I see now. Dexterity of dancing of Radhika's eyebrows are attracting and melting Krishna. Then her dexterity of her glances of eyes doing the same thing. Then her verbal Verbal dexterity. And the way how he is coming with her gait, with her movements. How he is, she is coming, sorry, she. When she how she is approaching to him brings him pleasure. Because every movement of her body is increasing his desires. And only lovers can understand it. When these kind of four dexterities are present, then pastime and Nikunja starts. And then Manjaris are witnessing dexterity of loving exchange. And they glorifying. All Vilapa Kutsumanjali is glorifying all these dexterities, especially dexterity of loving expertise in Ikonjaniriti. And then six, now six dexterities coming. Hmm. 
The aspirants should glorify Sripad's dexterity in devotional service. Now, Lalita, Vishaka, and different other girlfriends enter the bower, covering their mouths with their wails while they giggle about Radha and Mohan's naughty pastimes. Glories also to the rasa of laughter and choking of Sri Radhika and her girlfriends. All oh, glories to the laughter and joking. This is dexterity, how to laugh, how to joke. Not so gross in a mood of Tamogun, Rajogun, even a Sattvogun. It's not relishable. But if we are joking with dexterity, very skillfully, full of staibav, then rasa is churning. And this is dexterity, how to joke. Many people like to laugh and joke, every one of us. But how to do this, it's not easy to learn, especially not from this body. It's not tasteful. So everyone likes when Gurudev is laughing and joking, even if we don't understand why he's joking <laughs> and laughing, because he's doing it from his furrow. This is his dexterity. And we, like his shishyas, we have opportunity to relish this. Not to misunderstood, but to relish this. So this is Radhika's dexterity to make jokes after love <laughs> making with the lover. And so on and so on. Everything is in connected with the lila. Everything is a present in a qualities of Radhika, in her form. And everything what we were talking about is present in her name. That is. This is the end of words. Isn't it, Kishoreji? You want to repeat the words? Yes. Yeah. Glory to the incomparable dexterity of Radha's dancing eyebrows. The dexterity of the corners of her beautiful, playful eyes. The verbal dexterity of this beautifully formed girl, her dexterity in coming to the thrusting place, her dexterity in ever fresh artful pastimes, and her dexterity in having a festival of laughter and choking with her girlfriends. Jai Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Gurudev. It was so nice yeah. to be with you. Yeah. Jai Shri Radhe. I'm done. Yeah. Thank you, Kishoreji. Thank you so much. We mm -hmm. always like yeah. to listen. Okay. Thank you, Guranga. Rade, Rade, Gurude. Rade, Rade, Gurude. Rade, Rade. Buenos días. Rade, Rade. Rade, Gurude. I love you. I love you too.
Radhe, Radhe, Guru de, Yai Shri Radhe. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿usted? Bien, Guru de, bien, Yai Shri Radhe, bien, bien. Sí. Radhe, Radhe. 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 Radhe, Uh, Gurudev, uh, Vrinda wants to say something or to ask you something. Oh my. Vrinda, Vrinda from Rijeka, from Croatia. Ne, ja ti dobro čujem. Mahni mu, mahni mu, ne vidite. Yeah. She is waving. Ja sam uh, htjela uh, samo ove... Uh, Reč svoj osjećaj kako guru da prenosi radikinu milost na nas i koliko ima on vještinu da e, iako mi to ne, mož, ne znamo primiti, isto nastavlja sa istim, e, s istom ljubavlju čak i jačom da nam to daje. Tako da. <laughs> da. I have to translate. I want to say how Guru Dev is very expertly with his love and the dexterity skillfulness is giving us all these uh, emotions all this love even if we cannot accept it but he is still is continuing and continuing to to give to us to infuse us uh, although we are not able to receive so much uh, but uh, ali ima uh, tolku vjeru i, i ljubav da je to ovaj da nas i to dodiruje polako, mislim, bar mene. Ja, polako, ali sigurno. <laughs> I da mu zahvaljujem he, puno. I am so thankful to you, Guru Dev, because you have so much faith and love to touch all of us. And I am very grateful to you, because in this way you are guiding us and helping us. Jai, Jai Guru Dev. <laughs> I just wanted to share... Oh, yes. uh, to you, Guru Dev, my feelings and emotions. Uh, in Radha, if we develop desire to be Radha Dasi, nothing more to do in life. Only in Sadha Deha, you desire that I am Radha Dasi. All Radhika will do for me. Who can do like this? Krishna says, what is we have to do? Come further, then I will go to see it. Here you only that, that I want to be your dad. Nothing to do. Translate. In your sadhaj there, and in fallen position, she will accept. Raman is translating on Croatia directly, Gurudev. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Who, who can give so much mercy in our life? Impossible. Only she can do that. Jai, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes